Hi, this is Maury Moreland Morrison, here to tell you GEICO has more than just great savings. Much more. GEICO's been around for more than 75 years, back when they were using Morse code. Sorry, that's just my sense of humor. What's more, with GEICO, you get 24-7 access to licensed agents on the app, online, or over the phone, so you can talk to them at night or in the morning. So forevermore, just know that no other auto insurer has more more than GEICO. More power to you. GEICO. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. Blog Talk Radio. Hey, I need a beat. Uh, hot Sheem Omar. 5150 Music. Hey. Hey, it's that 51 fish. Yeah. Music getting to it. Okay. It's the movement. People snoozing. Wake them up. We ain't losing. No. We're saying we're damaged. Yep. Mark it on your calendar. Huh? Shot down real, man. We on another calendar. Yep. We the truth. North, south, east, west. We kill it worldwide. We the best, bro. It ain't no ceiling. Yeah. R&B drill. Music backpack. The situation. Taking over. Shit real. Yeah, the number one station. Crazy as we need to be, man. Already, it's only Wednesday though. Hey, hey, it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful for the blogs. I tell you that. We got stars over here starting sex cults. We got, uh, uh we got stars doing people herpes. Probably shooting people. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of shit going on. What the fuck is wrong with these celebrities? <laughs> We got Mike Vick talking about uh, niggas need to cut their hair uh, to be presentable uh, to the NFL and shit. Uh, <laughs> when I say, when I say, we gonna definitely touch bases on that. I had to double, I had to triple look at that article. I'm like, is this? They say Mike Vick, like, dude, wasn't you just, wasn't you just in it with these motherfuckers? But anyway, yeah, it's a lot of shit. Tom going ass on. nigga. Uncle fucking Tom, I still need to change his name to Tommy. He needs to change his name quick. He's no longer. He's been. We, <laughs> we're gonna trade him. We trading him, man. We need. We need. We need. We need. We're gonna trade him. <laughs> he didn't even let us down with that bullshit. Real All job. the way down. <laughs> so damn, we got. So it's crack in Chicago. Right you said man, what? It's hot as hell. We got a good ass night. It's hot as hell. We got my man. That's trying to dodge these ever. bullets. That shit ain't funny. Mm-hmm. But I, we dodging bullets. Because it's definitely hot. Yeah. It's going to be hotter tomorrow, so you're going to have to dodge triple amount of bullets tomorrow. But I made yeah, it back and forth elbow. to the liquor store, though. <laughs> I'm, man, hey, look. I was so scared to walk to the liquor store. I just said, you know what? I'm going to be I'm gonna be sober tonight with everybody. I ain't feel like sober. making that, that walk I, to that jungle. With everybody else, because I, I <laughs> am definitely lit. As usual. Anyway, we have a special night tonight. Yes, indeed. I guess we got my special. Main man. We got my main man, uh, Schemo Dollars. Well, the name of the album is Semi Automatic Presents The Pinnacle, featuring Schemo Pinnacle. Dollars, man. This, this album was produced by none other than my main man, Semi Automatic, which has happened to be one of my favorite producers, one of my close friends. Uh, produced this album and uh, skills rapping on every track. It's a, so it's a what you call that? Is, is that a duet? I don't know. Do you okay. call it a duet? No, it ain't no fucking R and B. It's a co- <laughs> collabo, motherfucker. <laughs> Unless you sing it, Schemo, then it's a duet. It's definitely a duet. We gonna find I don't know out. Schemo came with a is, lot of shit, man. That nigga might. I, I know he go he go back and forth, so we might hear some singing. Who knows? But. Uh, we give uh, definitely uh, much love to Schemo Dollars. He uh, first album mixtape exclusive for Fifty One Fifty Music. So this whole show is dedicated to semi, no, it's semi automatic and Schemo Dollars. Semi automatic. Yeah. Yes, indeed, man. Hey, and you know what? I'm, I'm happy to say, man. Uh, you know, saying these guys put a lot of work into this album, man. They asked, look, this is the, this is the first album off the off the label, uh, Wolf Creek and Garment. That was solely produced, engineered, 
and uh, written all in house, man. No outside producers, no outside engineers, no outside lyricists. This was the first official project from from Wolf Creek Conglomerate that featured nothing but Wolf Creek Conglomerate artists and producer and engineer. Man, got to give them props on that. That's what's, That's what's up. happening. No, that, That's no what's happening. Up. Hey, y'all, we going to upgrade a little bit more. I'm going to get some sound effects in this motherfucker. I should have had some clapping, clapping in the background when he was saying that shit. So y'all can clap and act like it was in the background. Woo! But, uh, yeah! Most definitely. Thank you. Come on. You know, I, I should have done that, but I never wanted to be a cheerleader, so you ain't going to hear me cheering. But oh, time, boy, yeah. much respect. Much respect. Yo, ass was the type that want to wrestle boys and shit. Hell yeah, I was definitely into <laughs> all the, the yeah. That's why I got all these scars. Climbing and trees. I was Don't you like to climb trees? <laughs> yeah, <I> jump <laughs> fences and do all kind of shit. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was back in the day. Now I let the boys catch me. Now I used to. <laughs> it's different when you now get you older. Now you don't catch me, Joe. Hot ass. <laughs> catch, me, catch me, please. Some of them. Catch me, tease me, other motherfuckers. Me, I, I still, I still have my running shoes on for other motherfuckers. <laughs> but anyway, we gonna keep it going, or we gonna get it going with the first track off the album. Is it a mixtape or an album? This is a, this I think is it's a mixtape, album. right? This it's is an album. album. This is an album. Okay. This is the first official. So the first they've track. had plenty of mixtape, but it's the first album that they've done. Okay. With Wolf Creek and so Glamour. So, so we're going to go uh, ahead and jump into it. Definitely want to check it out, man. Um, I'm definitely a fan, so let's see what we got going. My main man, Schemo Dollars, semi automatic on the production. The pinnacle, it starts now. New storm, let's get it. <laughs> That's why I'm, 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 st- I'm, I'm, I'm over here like, oh shit, oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't know what to expect from you, Schemo. Schemo. So that was the intro. That was New Storm by my main man Schemo Dollars. The production man, I told you, the production's crazy. But man, the boy got skills for real. You know what I'm saying? Skills like shit out with the lyrics, man. Yeah, I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it hard. Right. So far, so far, yeah. so good. I would say, need to be what you think. I'm, I'm right there with you. So far, so good. 
I ain't gonna, oh, five, so we gonna get through all of them, but I, you know, I, I'm biased. He's on my boys, so I'm definitely gonna ride with him all day. Yeah, I'm biased too, but I'm a realist at the same time. Emo, this shit weak, nigga. I'm gonna let you know, nigga. I'm gonna let you know, nigga. Uh, right, to, to all our listeners out there, man, hey, y'all be, feel free to chime in. Give us your input and how y'all feel about the music. You know what I'm saying? About uh, our multiple hot topics we have uh, going on right now. Uh, Schemo Dollars. Uh, what, man, man. You said multiple what? hot topics. Which one are you going to throw out there first? <laughs> Man, man, I don't even know where to start, man. I mean, goddamn, man. This, I, I ain't gonna lie though. The one is the funniest one is the nigga Usher, man. <laughs> that shit's fucking hilarious. Man, that shit is hilarious. Like, dude. Man, look. Now you know it's crazy because he was burning when he made Let It Burn, or was it after this Let It Burn? This nigga got a song called Let It Burn. I think he was burning after that because he got married. They said he cheated on a girl, and that's why they got a divorce. But well, anyway, the the funny part about that one that got me because I read the story, and it says something like the old girl he gave the shit to was like she noticed it was some greenish discharge. Now, let's stop right there. If you're close enough to the dick where you could see greenish discharge, what the fuck? Why the fuck? Did you like allow the, the dick into you? I know you. She, she was that close to it. She was, she, was, she, was, she was giving him some oral pleasure, and she was that close. And, and wait, 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 wait. this is Usher's response. Hole. This was what she claimed Usher said to her when she said, uh-uh, uh-uh, what is this? He said, oh, I'm good. It's cleared up. We good. What the fuck? It's Usher, man. Who the fuck you it's fucking? Usher, man. If you got some green ass discharge coming anywhere from your body, you can't touch me at all because you got a cold or you got something else. Like what the fuck? Hey man, these chicks go crazy over us. Hey. Man, I just happen, I just happen to be on social media and see her chick actually post like, damn. Well, my man burning, but I don't care. At least I stay home. I said, oh shit, this huh? Usher's the man. This nigga huh? Usher is the man, Jack. I'm like, oh what? hell no, nah. no she didn't say. I mean, he that is married she don't care if now. She, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna have herpes together then. Shit, I don't give a fuck. I love Usher. I mean, like, shit, the only way we gonna have herpes, herpes together, together is if we met in a herpes uh, AA or herpes <laughs> anonymous group and we all have it and we could have herpes together. But if I don't have herpes <laughs> and you have herpes, keep that shit to yourself, nigga. Keep that shit to yourself. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah, man. They like, I'm going to have herpes with you, Usher. Give, it, nah. give me herpes, Usher. <laughs> look, look. Dude, they got a law. They got a law. If You know, of course, you know about the law with the AIDS situation. If you don't tell a person you got AIDS, that's like, you know, murder or some shit. So but they got a law in family. If you don't tell a person that you have herpes that, you know, uh, uh, you can't get rid of, you know, it's, it, 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 that's a lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? So, this nigga paid this girl a million dollars. He had to pay one point one million. So shit, fuck it. All y'all go get herpes if it's a million dollars. Shit, man, you got they got shit you can clear up the stuff for the little time period. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my yeah. microphone get all jacked up. <coughs> but yeah. Yeah, that's that usher shit for you, but I, I, I don't know what to say. That is the most funniest one, hand down. He won. Man, he, he, he got it. He got it. And, and to all you dumbass females out there, to my son, I don't get the herpes, Usher. I don't care, I baby. Let it burn. Y'all sound like Magic <laughs> Johnson's wife. I mean, okay. That's that Magic Johnson shit up in that Charlie Sheen shit. Like, you out here, Charlie Sheen, and then Michael, Magic Johnson and people, but... Like, you give them herpes, she might not die from the shit, but goddamn, it's herpes. <laughs> it's herpes. I don't understand what's wrong with these people, but, hey, I bet every celebrity is out there getting checked out because, you know, they fuck all the same people. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got herpes in Hollywood. <laughs> fucking it. Burn everybody, everybody got herpes. Burn, burn everybody. Well, I bet Chili ran to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> she might have got her phone. That might be why she dumped his ass. <laughs> why she dumped his ass. Up there burning and shit. Can't do a show because she's scratching and shit. Usher, uh, what's Real. wrong? 38 man, years old and got herpes. What the fuck? God and he don't date no but older women, right? Like, you don't stop the old man, ass stop with herpes. That shit, man. That, I, yeah, that nigga weird as hell, man. I look, hey, look, they say who his wife was. 
she was the executive producer of the Cosby show. I said, what? She got to be uh, old yeah. as shit if you were executive producer. Got so I had looked it up. 